Hey everyone, this is Nate from the Chicago C4D Meetup Group, and I just want to show you a quick plugin called Magic Merge. And where this will really help is importing and exporting, I'm sorry, just exporting FBX files into Unreal Engine 4. The reason why is when you export from Cinema 4D, sometimes you can get some really crazy light maps, and by merging primitive objects together, you can fix a lot of that kind of stuff. So a lot of objects I don't build just out of um, splines and things like that. Sometimes you just can build a permanent object. If you're trying to get this, you know, it's easier just to do it with two cubes. The problem is when you try to merge them, you get some really weird um, texture mapping. And that kind of intersect with each other. So if we were just to do the simple, you know, connect object and delete. Oops, sorry. To make that editable first, then connect object and delete. When we open these sides up, we can see that there's still yeah, there's, everything's inside of here. And that's going to give us really strange light maps because when we shine light onto this top part, it's going to want to light the inside. Well, if the inside is all dark, that's going to spill over to the outside. It's just how the light maps work and you know why it causes issues. So a really simple solution to that is the plugin Magic Merge. And so if we take these two cubes and use magic merge, now when we open these up, everything that was on the inside is gone, which really will fix a lot of your light issues, your shadowing issues. Um, the main ways you can connect objects, and I've kind of shown them here, is magic merge, merge, just a straight primitive, you know, this is still just a cube. Connect object and delete, which is what we just did. We just select the objects, we make them editable, and then connect them. And then finally, uh, the connect object uh, tool, which doesn't seem to do what it, we would like it to do. Anyway, Magic Merge kind of looks at the normals and figures out what the outside is and just keeps that information. And where that really shows up is when we bring down Unreal. So I've already brought in Unreal and I've already built the lighting. And if we look here, the magic merge letters are very clean. No shadowing issues, no nothing. If we look at primitives, we're getting some weird blocking, stuff like that. And that's basically because it's looking, if we go on the inside here, it's looking at in here and what to do with the lighting. So the texture mapping, connect object and delete gives us the same issue. We can see that even on the inside of here, some of the inside letters are actually lit up, so we know we're having an issue there. And then the connection object just gives us the same kind of different issues. But anyway, we look at, if we go into our game, we walk around and we can put some lights on here, and you can see this is nice, looking very nice. We can see everything, you know, the lights acting correctly. Where here, if we look at primitive, the shadowing's all over the place. Nothing's really correct. We're getting shadows in places where there shouldn't be shadows. And you can see it here. Everything just looks a little strange. And that's because there's object, you know, part of the faces are inside of an object, which are causing lighting issues. So anyway, I just wanted to show this off really quick. This is a plugin for Cinema 4D users called Magic Merge. You can pick it up at nitro4d.com forward slash blog forward slash freebie forward slash magic hyphen merge so if you're having issues with your your lighting take a look at this uh plugin and see if that helps you hope you liked it thanks